Welcome back to Incibles, everyone. So I'm going to go to the guys in the S&P 500. We have a very important Jerome Powell speaking 20 minutes before open on Thursday. I wanted to go over a quick recap with you guys on Powell. He recently spoke a couple Fridays ago mentioning that he wants to see a continuation on decreases in inflation and a decrease in employment. Again, that increase in unemployment is what he's looking for leading into September's Fed rate hike. Now, keep in mind, we have a CPI report coming out on September 13th. That is next Tuesday. Um, Jerome Powell will be speaking this Thursday. So we have a lot of anticipation on September since September, historically the worst month of the year in the United States stock market. So again, there's a lot of anticipation leading into Powell, our CPI report coming in about four days after on Tuesday of next week. And then we have our Fed rate hike about a week after that. So again, we have a large September in front of us. Now, again, with all of that said, if you guys can do me a huge favor, smash that like button if you find this video useful at all and hit subscribe if you want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts that I mention every single day throughout the week. I almost mentioned every single day on exactly how I would play into the S&P. 500 so definitely hit subscribe if you guys are watching the spy day to day in my opinion again we're watching candles watching pattern breakouts making sure we are playing structurally consistent so again making sure we are staying focused on the correct indicators is what we do again we mentioned tons of alerts in the intervals room multiple breakouts very volatile breakouts every single day in the intervals room if you do guys do want to check out all of our alerts throughout the day go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again so jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on the spy as you guys can see we got our intraday head and shoulder here we did continue on lower um the reason why we got this rejection is not only because uh, we did have a trend line that clearly pretty much did tell us exactly what was going to happen here as you guys can see our trend line giving us that exact rejection here um but again a lot of people have been looking at the 200 day moving average as you guys can see here with our 200 day moving average we are getting that rejection also just below so again that is a strong rejection not only rejecting our 200 day moving average but also rejecting our trend line so again a large reaction to the downside a head and shoulder completing that rejection and as you guys can see now we are testing a strong support we did mention this um, a few days ago and we did get that bounce here on our 390 level that we did mention in the intervals room we did have that breakout all the way up to 400 and then we were looking to see if we can hold it and then we got Nord Stream news coming out and then we did close as you guys can see below the body from the prior day so we're going to be careful here this could be a possible engulfing candle to the downside but again engulfing candles typically move stronger to the downside or to the upside again on trends to the downside or trends to the upside so again a bullish engulfing candle if we are trending lower is going to be more effective to the upside if we are continuing on lower but if we are continuing on higher on a trend we get a bearish engulfing candle we do have a larger reaction to the downside so again as we are pulling back we have an engulfing candle to the downside so not exactly the strong Longest pullback that we have here since we are on a downtrend with an engulfing candle to the downside. However, we are going to be careful. We could have that continuation on lower. This is our VPVR. I wanted to go over this because, again, a lot of people are curious what exactly has to happen intraday for us to possibly continue on higher. In my opinion, if we can hold 395, continue on above it, continue on above 400, of course, as we did get that rejection at about 401 on Friday, I would want to see if we can at least close above the previous body that we had from Friday. And the reason why is because that would show that we are increasing in strength rather than closing below the body of a candle that we had from the day prior here so we are going to be careful um, but again looking at our buy pressure again this is our MACD as you guys can see we have an increase in sell pressure we have another solid red bar here coming in so again we are looking for a continuation on decreases in sell pressure by getting white shaded lines as you guys can see we had a couple come in but we didn't have continuations on those decreases in sell pressure to give us that possible anticipation of our 12 EMA crossing back over our 26 again we do ultimately need our 12 to cross back over our 26 here if that does not happen then in my opinion we are not getting that confirmation on that completion on that decrease in sell pressure to the downside now looking at our relative strength as you guys can see on our rsi we are pointing down showing us that we do possibly have room to run to the downside so continuing on down below 388 is the lower end of our range again we have a range here from 388 to 391 again we were looking to see if we can hold this we did hold it we had to bounce back up to our 0.5 fib and then we did get that rejection on the lower end of our 50 day moving average so looking to see if we can have a bounce back but again as you guys can see with our relative strength pointing down showing us that we do have possible room to run and that we possibly do need to jump back into oversold territory to get those possible bullish divergence for that possible continuation on higher so again being very careful to the upside in my opinion um, i do want to see if we can at least reclaim 395 continue on past 400 again the open that we had before we did close on the lower end of our body here so again making sure we do get that bounce back breaking back above 400 closing above the upper end of our body of our candle will be very key to get that strength to the upside we are going to see what happens going to to Powell this Thursday. Um, we could get a continuation on a hawkish Powell, but what we don't want Powell to mention is that 50 basis points is not on the table. If we have 
Powell coming out mentioning that 50 basis points is not on the table, then that takes away our anticipation leading against of September's Fed rate hike for a possible decrease in Fed rate hikes. Again, our recent Fed rate hike, our last couple of them have been at 75 basis points. A lot of people wondering, are we going to have a decrease in Fed hikes at 50 basis points? And that could be that possible bounce back that we're looking for. Now, if Powell goes hawkish, he does mention that 50 basis points is off the table. Then in my opinion, the next support, if we did continue on below 388, would be here at 381. This is our next strongest point on our VPVR. Um, so again, just being careful, making sure we are playing our levels. And again, this anticipation leading into Powell, leading into CPI next Tuesday is going to be extremely key. The markets will be on watch. So again, if the market happens to be slower this week, don't get too discouraged. Just know that we have data coming up and that we are also leading into September's Fed rate hike a week after next Tuesday's CPI. So again, just keeping an eye on these catalysts. And of course, I will update you guys on any new news that comes up over the weekend. Again, we mentioned Nord Stream news. As soon as it happened, we had a major pullback. So again, if you guys did play that news, News. We mentioned it super early. We mentioned it about 398, continued on lower all the way down to 390 on the day. So again, a major pullback from news. These are the type of alerts that we do mention, but also mostly mentioning very volatile breakouts throughout the day. Now, again, with that said, if you are a day trader or you are looking for very volatile breakouts that we mentioned every single day throughout the week, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. And again, all of you instables that come over every single day and support the channel. I appreciate it when you guys do not be shy to comment in the comment section, ask questions, anything you guys have questions on, feel free to ask. I am always here, ready to answer, and I always look forward to talking to you guys on top of it. So definitely comment in the comment section below if you guys have not in the past. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow, and I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all, and I'll see you guys in pre-market.